if I had my ideal scenario, I would say every student that learns to fly and it should be integrated into their basic training. It's, 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 um, we've, we've, we've put this stigma in there that aerobatics is something you have to do when you're qualified and you can fly, fly normally, then you can learn aerobatics. No, it's just part of the normal flight envelope and uh, ideally we should be doing it from lesson one. Just, just introducing the student to those three dimensions. We're flying in three dimensional space and yet we concentrate on keeping straight and level and, and none of, nothing that's an unusual attitude. And then we wonder why people can't handle unusual attitudes. Because you know? otherwise you start to get a little bit crazy if I demonstrate too much, yep. especially the fast rolls and things like that. Okay, so cool. That's the plan. Yep. Have a lot of fun. Great. Sounds good. Okay. Even somebody who's never flown before, I can teach them in five minutes to do an aileron roll or a loop. The control inputs aren't difficult, um, but because some pilots that have got hundreds of hours of experience, they've been sort of taught fear and avoid for some of these things rather than, well, it's just part of the flight envelope. Why are we worried about it? So there's more apprehension from experienced pilots than there are from new students. Okay, go, pull, hard, pull, push. Probably a little bit light, but that will get us around. Yeah. Just hold that angle. Hold that angle. Hold it all the way. You look, the right. the um, RPM doesn't increase. Yeah. And you hit your tail watch. That was a good one. Oh, that was awesome. If you've got a training syllabus that covers the whole uh, flight envelope, no student's going to know the difference between that or they're doing a little bit because they don't know. But you don't know, you don't know. Uh, we want to get the, the standard up to a level where uh, we're not getting a lot of these accidents, you know, based to final turns, and uh, a lot of pilots, I get, don't even understand how an airplane stalls in the first place. They've just been told to fear and avoid it. And don't pull down you know, high nose attitude, avoid all that. Nothing to do with that, of course. You know, you can stall in any attitude. But there's a lot of myths and misconceptions out there, and my biggest challenge is to dismiss all of those myths and uh, and really get get down to some fundamental um, three-dimensional flying. Okay, so part of the idle. There's the stall. And in. So, one, half, opposite rudder, forward stick, bang. One and a half turns exactly. Check your speed and pull out. So if somebody's got their recreational pilot certificate, um, converts to a recreational pilot license, they've probably got 50 hours. Uh, They'll get through an aerobatics course probably in about 10 hours, 10 to 12 hours, including spinning. Um, and if they're really slow on the uptake, it might take a little bit longer. Vertical. Hold it vertical. Then hold tight. Traffic, joining crosswind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. And out we come. <laughs> Doesn't know what to expect there. <laughs> Very impressive. Okay, that's it. Cool. Let's okay. go home. Cool. You can fly home if you want. Okay, I have control. You have control. Well, to keep it nice and flat, don't worry. Yeah, just push it down. Just push, push it down and get back on profile. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you'll, you'll be better. Alright, let me know if I'm on straight. Not normally in the left right. seat. You're fine. You just okay. got to come a little bit to the right. A little bit to the right. right. That's it. Then just slowly, just ease it back slightly. Very ease easy. it back a bit more. A bit of rudder. Yeah. You're down. Yeah. Too easy. Thank you very much, Colin. I like to see the light go on inside of why have I not been doing this for the last 10 years? Why have I been flying straight level? Because it's just a different world. It's, it opens up um, a lot of understanding, of more understanding of the aerodynamics of what's involved. And it makes you a better pilot. It, to, it's like, like driving, analogy is like driving a car. If you do an advanced driving course, you're going to be a better driver than someone who just does a basic one. That's, that's the simplest way to put it. <laughs>